we welcome you to the Rick Case Arena on the campus of Nova Southeastern University in Davie, Florida for Hannet Ball 360. Red and white, the blue and white for Orlando. And Lormon. So now leveraged with taller, larger players here. You can get them in the air and right away. Drop. And that's what I mean by leverage. When you can sky like that. Israq Antoine, watch this. You shoot down, and that is really hard, even with the grunt meter. In front. And yeah, this is great. It was a one. Not contact the rim on the way in, but the official is just making sure. Now, again, the attacking player you see right there, Kenny Adam, he can't go inside that circle. So he'll forecheck around it. And that was an illegal pass. And Adam got up in the air and overshot it. The reason it, was, it wasn't a bump, it wasn't a bounce pass. You cannot just pass the ball like you're a quarterback in football and you catch it in the air. You cannot do that. So a player just sort of forgot about that rule. And you have to bump it. Oh, a big turnover there. And the brother was he inside? He might have been inside the circle there. I'm not sure this one's going to count. We'll take a look at it. Well, he sure landed inside the circle. And they're waving that one off. Yeah, that's that's the right move. But a, just a complete lapse of concentration there by Orlando. They're going to have to button that up a little bit. So that's, and there's a good example. You cannot go in that circle. Even on your follow-through, you cannot. Adam, some good moves there with those four steps. And there you see the leverage and another grunt coming in. And that's going to be Antoine again. And he might have clipped the rim with this, did he? Well, we got a player that jumped in the way there. But it's 2 nothing for the ICANN. This is a good strategy. Oh, Lormont, that's a big guy to get the ball around, and they did. But uh, the design, a little bit sluggish start for them especially in their own defensive end when they've had some turnovers one of which led to a run and one of which nearly led to another one well there you see Adam realizing immediately that he made a mistake in trying to possess the ball and there's the fourth step you got to get rid of it cannot hold it for more than five seconds and a little bit of Four checking that time by Carl Sama resulted in a, a little bit of contact. So Brian uh, Cano. Well, 100, that's an easy name to remember, an easy number to remember. Now an opportunity here for Orlando. Up in the air, the shot is blocked by Lormond. And that's the one person you can throw the pass to and not have to worry. In fact, if he bounced that, that would have been a point against him. It would have been a free. That's the one guy you can throw to the air to is your grunt meter, your own grunt meter. Some good looking work here by this Florida ICANN team. And again, once he lost the possession on the bump, you can't save it. There's no offsides, nothing like that here. And uh, that pass was has to be bounced and you know you can safely bounce it in that circle and not have to worry about it being intercepted so oh beautiful that might have flipped a piece of the rim a grunt from Michaela Desti take a look this might be a rim run man caught watching the back well that's a tough call right now they put it up as a single and I think that's right but a rib grunt had that clipped the rim on the way in. That would have been three. 
So an early advantage, three nothing, and a shot taken by Fernando Martinez and handled well by Portillo. and counting left in this first round of four. Well, have a pretty elaborate halftime show we think you'll enjoy. Several performers will be on at halftime. Intercepted and then turned right back over. Look at this. This is dangerous. Oh, great save. Domingo with a beautiful save. I'm not even sure he knows he saved it. Watch this. I think they caught him in the pads. But I like what Domingo is doing. He's doing the smart thing. He's trying to cut down the angle. Kenny Adam can fire it, and that was his shot. A little bit of a violation there. And we'll go in favor of Florida. Shot was a little wide, picked up by Cano. Martinez, that was low. He had the angle too. He's going to be disappointed with that effort. We are in the timeout zone right now. Lormont looks a little winded. He'll be happy when we hit the timeout. So that's a lot of extra steps. And there is the timeout zone. That gives these guys a chance to get a little bit of a break. 6-16 left in this first round. And Florida ICANN with three single grunts. Leading 3-0 against this young Orlando side. Hit ahead, but the shot is low. And you can see there's just a little bit more experience on this Florida ICANN team than Orlando. Just some of the savvier moves, getting around, using the entire Hannibal 360 court. I mean, it is Hannibal 360 for a reason. And you get the idea that this team is a little bit longer. And there's a good example. It's the second time that Orlando has tried that bump, that bounce pass, and it's been at the feet of the teammate and too hot to handle, and then they lose possession. There's a steal. And a save by Portillo on a hard shot from Cuervo. And Orlando's on the board. Marita, the captain, I believe, is the one who got that. Number 09, right off the inbounds. Oh. 
So Jefferson Marina gives Orlando their first point, and it's three to one. Under five minutes remaining, he tucked that shot in beautifully. Hey, right here. Marina has it again. He got bumped just enough to knock him off stride, and just enough right in front of the official too to attract the attention. Great job by Cano to get in the way of what could have been a fast break opportunity for the ICANN. Ooh, that's dangerous right there. Very dangerous. Lormond seems to be sort of the captain of the defense. Although he moves into the attacking zone, and he's got a great pass to Dusty. Dusty, there's that leverage, and I think that's a rip run. That looked to me like that got a piece of rim when it went in. Let's take a look. Going, yep, yeah, the officials are right on top of that. It is six to one for the ICANN. Orlando trying to counter. Shot blocked beautifully by Lormont and stolen away by Florida. So, our first rim grunt of the night that's when a grunt or a goal contacts the rim, and that's worth three. And Desti, he's got a little hang time on him, too. Going to try, no, that deflected high, high in the air, and then unable to keep control of it. The ball hitting the wall will turn over to Orlando if we approach the three minute mark of this opening round. an extra step, but got rid of it just in time. We take a look here at Carlos Marquez. A violation called on Orlando. Uh, Spot of the foul. The ICANN takes over. And that pass from Anderson Lormont, a little too hot for Carl Sama. Martinez. Oh, look at the fancy pass there for Moreno, but he couldn't get it to his teammate that time. Marcelo Moreno went for the uh, the fun pass, but it didn't pay off this time anyhow. But uh, points for creativity. Lormont. Oh, good teamwork here. Desti. And we had a whistle before Desti's shot and a violation. It's like the pass was not clean. Remember, it can't be just a, a, a pass in the air. It's got to contact the ground. Got to go to what's known as a bump in handball 360. Now, right there, if on the one in a million chance that Eduardo Portillo would have dropped that ball in the grunt net, that would have been one point for Orlando, and that is called a freep. Haven't seen one yet but it is available as a scoring option. Hook shot, rejected. Also, if you watch Lormont, because he's a big guy, he handles that handball with one hand like it's a grapefruit. Like that. That contacted the outside of the grunt net. It nearly took it down. That shows you the strength of this net. This is a ripper. And nearly a rip run. And Portillo got a piece of that, I think, on the high shot from Cuervo. And a sweet save by Portillo. Is again on the inbound. The attack coming from the other side. That's that's the cool thing about this board is that circular net. The attack comes from any anywhere. Under a minute. The ball belonged to Florida. Just Huevo got a hand on it and managed to pop it up to himself. That was, I believe, Martinez. 
who's been pesky for the design. The problem is they're down six to one. They got off to a slow start, which kind of doomed them. At least in this first round. There are three others. Interception picked up there by Adam. And there's no shot clock here, so you could bleed clock a little bit if you want to just pass the ball. Now, because that was an interception, that's why you don't have to worry about catching it in the air. And Lorman taking down Moreno. Very sportsmanlike to help him up. Time just about out in this opening round. One last long shot, maybe. Got to get rid of it. Nope. So the first round is over. And a rip run, a big shot here for Florida. That three-pointer gives them a 6-1 to one lead. We've seen some great job performances from Caleb Desti. Portillo in the Grunt Net also.